In my first month of running an agency, I did Facebook ads, got in front of the right people and sold over $32,000 in revenue, again, using Facebook ads. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get in front of the right person on Facebook ads so you can collect them as a lead and book them as an appointment and again, sell them on your services. And again, I know this not only works because I've done it. I've also had four people ask in my community, which by the way, if you watch till the end, I'll give you exact instructions on how you can join. Ask Matt, how do I get in front of the right people on Facebook? So I split test my exact strategy with theirs. And every single time we got more leads, more appointments and more sales without fail. So I thought I'd share with you guys completely for free. So let's jump into it. So jumping into your Facebook ads manager, you're gonna go ahead and create a new campaign. You're gonna jump into the ad set level down here. You're going to scroll down or we're going to go ahead and actually start playing with this Advantage Plus audience. Now it's important to note that they have changed the targeting if you see here, we can actually switch to original options. And if I go ahead and use that, uh, you can see down here that they used to have something called ADT, Advantage Detailed Targeting. Since then, Facebook has gone more into this Advantage Plus audience. And honestly, I've seen some fantastic results. So I just use Advantage Plus audience myself. But again, if we scroll down, we're going to make sure that we want to target the right country. So usually for agencies, you do USA, you do Canada, you do United Kingdom. Basically the big five, US, Canada, UK, New Zealand, and England. You're then going to scroll down to the Advantage Plus audience, and you're going to start adding some detailed demographics. So in this example, we're going to be doing dentistry. So if I was to target dentists, I would go ahead, I would come in here, and I would start searching for things like Invisalign. Turns out there is no Invisalign in here. So then I would go to dentist. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to try to find some sort of dentist thing here. Okay, nothing. We got interests. Cool. So I'm starting to see that there's all these interests of all these different schools. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit one. And then you can come back and hit this suggestions button and it'll start giving you more. So boom, now we have dental school. Let's go New York University dentistry. Boom, right there. Boom, we have dentist. Boom, dentist. Boom. I still want to hit these ones. This one looks like it's got a nice population size. So again, we have 335 to 394 million right now with this type of targeting. Now, for sure, you will get unqualified people if you run this. So there's one more thing that we got to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hit this narrow audience button right here. So what happens when you hit this narrow audience button is you now are going to match any one of the following people who like this, this, or this, or this, or this, or this, and they must also match this following targeting. And what I like to do is I like to go for business page admins. And I might also stack Facebook page admins. I'm looking here and I see I have about 161 to 189,000 people, which in all honesty, if I was to guesstimate, that'd probably be very, very accurate in how many business owners are on Facebook that own a dentist practice, because you're not really gonna have that, that big of a market. But let's go ahead and see what happens if I add Facebook page admins. That suddenly jumps up to 2.6 million. In my honest opinion, what I would do is I would create two ad sets. I would create one with both of these. I would create one without this and I would split test them to see exactly what gets better results. Because again, at the end of the day, I can tell you to do all this. Split testing is going to be the most important and most beneficial thing to any sort of success. So if you have any questions like that, just make sure you split test it. Let the data speak for itself. Now, just to give you another example, just so you can really hit this home, let's say we're targeting car dealerships. What I would come on is I'd start searching for something like Auto Trader. I'd go ahead and hit this suggestions right here, autotrader.com, used cars, cars.com, CarMax, car dealership. And if we look here, again, we will have 2 million to 2.5 million people that own a business page and they're into these types of cars. So again, guys, just to recap this framework, what you're going to do is you're going to come in, you're going to start searching for something that will be related to your niche. You're going to stack some of these interests together, and then you're going to narrow that even further and make sure that they are a business page admin. You combine the two of these, meaning you're getting people that are into that niche. And then the second point is they actually have and own a business page and they're an admin on that page. So nine out of 10 times, we're going to be finding the right person that is actually the owner of the business. So again, if you guys found any value from this video and you actually want to join my private discord, we can come on, hop on live weekly Q and a hot seats, ask questions in the discord and just grow together as a community. Make sure to hit that button right there for further instructions.